This is a 2012 LA Dodgers baseball hat in Dodger blue. Well, it used to be Dodger blue. It was purchased at the Sports Authority in Burbank, California, and became my favorite hat because I built my mini golf course, GolfCon, while wearing it. Hello? Getty, it's Adam. Hey, Adam, how are you? Good, you ready to play some mini golf? Probably not that good at it, but I sure will do the best I can. Do you have your favorite hat? I do have my favorite hat. Well, perfect, I'll see you in a bit. Hi, I'm Adam Contras, and this is Hats and Mini Golf. Today my guest is Getty Watanabe. He has no idea where he got this hat, but he loves it very much. Getty is a fantastic comedic actor who is best known for his farcical role as Long Duck Dong from Sixteen Candles. My heart holds a special place for his role as Wheel of Fish host Cooney from UHF. And I build a replica Wheel of Fish on my golf course. I can't wait for him to see. Ha 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 ha! You made that! Oh, that's great! Nice. Oh my god! Oh wait, wait, I have to show you this. What? Look, look at that. Oh my god. I got, I, br I found these. This is amazing! Yeah, here. You can have these oh, you can, if you can. You can get if you want me. I'll sign those or oh whatever you want God, me to do. Look at that. Look at that. Right the Aren't they? Now people can realize. Yeah, the what the time that what took what they're doing. <laughs> to make that. You know what's crazy? Does it though? spin? Does it spin? Oh sheesh! Look you, at that. There's, you're gonna. There's a reason for you to spin in here in a second. <laughs> now you see that this was actually astroturf. This was like. Oh wow! So it works wow. perfect. You know? Wow. Yeah, but they were real fish, by the way, too. You think I was going to do that? No, I don't, because they're, I, it was stinky um, as could be. It was all right, so what this is going to do for today is... <laughs> since we're is that Nemo? Yes, yeah, so since we're playing Nemo each wasn't other, and wasn't. I am at a bit of an advantage, Yeah. you get to you get to spin this all right. for okay. the strokes added to my score. So I'm going to start it, like, up to nine over. Okay. So... Spin the wheel, spin it good. Okay, Pull and just, and... There you go. Oh God, this brings back memories. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Oh, my. We need a Vanna White here or something like that. Oh my God. Okay, now you can keep that. Yes. Or you can have what, uh, Hero Sign's bringing out of the box. No, no, oh. you can, you can, you get one other chance. And so the line is, what's it gonna be, right? right? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, we'll see if you're stupid or not. I can beat you by three strokes. Okay. Right, let's get you better than three. Please do not fall on me. <laughs> oh, come on, we could do it. Come oh, on, oh, four, much four, much four five, five. Okay. five. So I started five over. Tap. That was a nice putt, people. Really? Oh, oh no, no, oh my God. Up by five strokes, just go tap it in. Long duck dong. Yeah. It just get it over with, all right. Um, you were born in Utah. Yep. You were very isolated, you were an alien, basically. Well, right? yes, there was probably one other Asian in the, in the population of, I don't know how many, probably 120,000, yeah. yeah, probably somewhere around there at that time. And then you you get really known for a role that is kind of isolating, in, in the sense that it got very typecast. Yeah. It's you know, and right after when that got really big, did you feel kind of like oh, I'm always going to be this funny? Because you don't talk like Long Duck Dong. I well the you know I mean? the funny the funny thing is is when I was because I was living in New York, right. the Joe Pap, so I didn't, I didn't really even think about it, to tell you the truth. Really? It was, yeah, it wasn't. Nobody, a, didn't, people didn't come up to you and start yelling. No, lines. well, no, not until I came out to LA, and then oh. yeah, no, seriously, it wasn't until LA. I didn't really say. Yeah, New York's kind of like it. It's, it, it's kind of protected. They don't. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh! Yeah. Oh, oh no! That's good. I make up one stroke so far. Utah's a great place to grow up in, but you can't drink very much there. That's, that's <laughs> oh, no. They. I remember when, as a little kid, my grandfather and I had to go to a booth that you had to unlock 
and a guy would peer through the window and say, what do you want to buy? That's how they got liquor, yep. Yeah. So this was in the 30s and the 40s? No. This <laughs> was <laughs> What did it do? What did it do? That was, oh. That wasn't bad, though. That wasn't great, but it wasn't, no, it was better than I thought. Now, oh. let me give you a hit. All right. You're going to want to issue it a little bit to the right. It's going to kind of pull. Okay. It. But you should be able to tap this right in. Oh! Wow! Oh my god! I got coached! Well I love that! Wow! Oh, so you hit it off of that and it ricochets. It's a ricochet shot. This calls for a ricochet drain. <laughs> But the fish out of sea thing, right? Somebody from a different place yeah. coming over. That's yeah. been funny for a billion years. Yeah. But now it seems like oh, you yeah, can't do that as much without people saying, oh, you're, you're. Well, I just think that there needs to be just a mass load of differential, you know, portrayals in, in Asian yeah. culture and everything. I think that's really the problem. I think it's getting better. You know, I mean, it, it could get better, but I think it is getting better. That's the point. It's getting a lot better now. I mean, you've got these great actors like you know, John Cho and Sandra Oh, and you know, all these wonderful people that are coming out right now that are doing, you know, they're changing certain things. I um, have a weird Sandra Oh story here. Okay. Oh, Billy! Are you kidding me? Are you? <laughs> There is no way you just hit that. It's just called, it's called luck. That was beautiful. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh god. I feel like I've accomplished something in my life. This is exciting. Sandra Oh, I worked for a chiropractor back in the day. Mm. She was a client. And she was the nicest person I've known. Yeah, she was cool. I was doing this performance art piece, the four TVs thing. And mm -hmm. uh, she was always awesome. I think she came to one of my shows and she was just a sweet, sweet lady. She was just really cool. And that was right around the under the Tuscan sun time. Ah. Uh, right before it just, it blew up for her. Okay. But wow. Always super sweet. All right, here's a nice Under long, 36, the Tuscan sun. 36 yard putt, 36 foot putt. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. No! Okay, I didn't make it. Thank you for crying. Oh, jeez. Oh. No! No! Oh, that almost! So do I have to at least put this in here? Oh. A little annoyed, a little bit. It was a little, little frustrating. Just, come on, man. He invited me. Now, the way Planko works is you get three chances. I bet you, you sleep on that at night, right? Only an Asian guy would say that. You take your last shot, not your best shot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not really, but... Meaning, meaning, if I hit this and I get a three, which right. is par, okay. I then have a choice. Oh, to go better. To go to to okay, okay. Right. okay. That's ideally what you want to do. Looking good, got a two. You're gonna keep the two? Keep the two. But okay. if I, what's the one that I wanna get? Do two. I wanna get the one or the? No, you, if you get a two, keep it no matter what. Okay, that's but. That's a birdie. Okay. Yeah, you wanna get a one. You do, Oh, that's what you're yeah, going you're for, is the one. one. Like, that's okay. The, that's the show. Oh, I think I better do that one again. <laughs> that's a six. That's a, yeah, that is a six. So here's your, here's your, here's your I, second attempt. Yes, of um, course. Don't hit it so hard, right? Yeah, in fact, I, I usually have to tell people to hit it harder, so that's oh. really impressive. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I mean, shoot. <laughs> no. Yeah. Two. Well, I got it in there at the first shot. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to not be? You're so stupid! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
So what does that mean? That I did that. What does that mean? You're, you're hard. You were tied. We oh. <laughs> Can you have a little more of your drink? Yeah. Just okay. <laughs> sure. How old are your kids? My kids are 23 months and eight months. So. Two, three and eight months. Yeah, they're 15 months wow. apart. Did you say you were divorced or something? Do you got divorced or something like that? How many? Three times? What? What's wrong with you? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Um, I married my high school sweetheart. Oh. I did one of those things. Okay. Um, who I'm still friends. She actually was the photographer at my next wedding. Like, we actually got along. She just said, I don't want to be like that. So, right. Um, the second marriage was what I've always considered my marriage. Because okay. Loved her to death. Everything was great. She came out to L.A. with me. Right. Um, she wanted to have a family back in Ohio. I wanted a family here. We, you know, it was a very amicable. Um, right. When, when I go back to Ohio, I stay with her and her husband and their kid and you know we all get along it's just one of those things where it was one of us is really going to hate the other one you know if we stay in this right. kind of thing and um third one i helped somebody get a green card well what where was she from south africa oh was she black she was not black she looked like nicole kidman i thought you were kind of an opera you thought i was a lot cooler than marrying some a white <laughs> south african that's a that's a different that's a much different <laughs> What? What did you do? Tell me you got that soaring eagle. What did you do? What? What'd you do? Where'd you it go? Know where that is? You start in 1885. Okay? That is 1955. The next one's 1985. You want to get all the way to the future, way out there, 2015. Okay. Right? Okay. And then if you hit that backboard, yeah. And you can you can actually trigger that DeLorean to go into the time space continuum and then the ball goes right back in. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh. That's all right. That's all right, though. So your second one. Okay. Great shot, right in 2015. Oh, that's one way to do it. Oh, oh, oh. oh you're gonna par. You get this, and, and it's still two. Do you get offended when people ask you to talk Asian? I'm tired of it. You're tired of it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm tired of, of doing it, but I don't get offended doing it. You know what? The problem is the jokes are all the same. They kind of come out the same. So it's kind of like after a while you just kind of, you're bored. I get really bored right, with right. it. So that's that's kind of my problem with it. With... So offended is the wrong word. Well, no, I don't get offended about it. But you I don't just... get offended at anything. You see me. I get I do I do get offended at some at stupid things that people stupid. Yes, yes, I do. For example, idiot drivers. There are people that are really are you setting me up to make an Asian. Story? No, 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 no. <laughs> that didn't come out. No, no, that no, Sorry, no. But there are people out there that are insane drivers in LA. I think so. I think I, I think they have they just don't have to. Are you kidding me? You know I, why I love driving in New York is because you expect it. You're expected to honk in New York. That's all they do is they honk and they yell and they're When you drive in New York, everybody's aggressive. Yeah. You know everybody's gonna be aggressive. Right. The people walking are aggressive. Right. And because everybody's on the same page, right. it all works. Right. But here you have no yes. idea. Yeah. Have you ever seen, you know, like a little old lady, she's like walking like this and then all of a sudden she goes, What the fuck are you doing? And then she walks around in there like that. I've had that several times happen to me. I am so sorry. Oh, I didn't know you could swear in there. <laughs> wow, he's so emotional. <laughs> oh. Four stroke lead, don't get a six. I have no idea what that means. Oh, oh that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like
You are really, look at him. He's gloating, he's gloating. All right, I'm within a stroke. Right. Oh, are you kidding ah! me? <laughs> oh my God. this game. <laughs> All right. Oh. You know what that means now. What does it mean? I have you, no idea. I, I, I'm going to give you a ride in the, uh, the time machine. Oh, you're serious. Oh. <laughs> right? Is that, is that something? All right. Oh my God. Time circuit's on. And we're off. This is crazy. If you had a choice, what time would you go to? If I had a choice, you know, I think I would go to the 60s. Yeah? Yeah, I... I As an adult, you yeah. want to be in the 60s. Yeah, because I would have, I would have, like, joined the Rosicrucians or whatever. <laughs> no, I would have, I would have, uh, I did have long hair, but I, uh, and it was all the way down to my waist at one time. That was a wig and movie, right? Yeah, in, uh, the, 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 no, no, UHF? that was my real, look, I'm bald now. Right, but it, yeah. that's crazy. But, uh... No, I was, uh, I was, um, I had hair, <laughs> believe it or not. And in the, in the, in the 70s, I actually had hair all the way down to my waist and I sold my hair. Wow. I sold it, because Asian hair Asian was so. Asian hair? Yeah, was what, so. And, what, what did you sell it for? Uh, I think it was for three grand. Get the. At that time, yeah, at that time, 1973. $3,000? Yeah. Yeah, I that would be all I do is grow my hair and sell it. You well, could, yeah, but then incredible. after a while, I mean, but it takes years. Yeah. You can't, you can't, you know, I mean, it's like, Amazing. You, know, you can't make it tax efficient. Hurry! <laughs> Hurry! You see, we're, we're something famous. <laughs> you are really attractive. It's not me, this dude, it's cool. the car. What are you going to do? I'm about driving the time machine. Wow, that's funny. All the, uh, I don't know. The, the, the lights are going on. <laughs> the light actually did go out. That's hilarious. It's just like the movie. It's <laughs> <laughs> always something with it, Lorian. It's really That'd be the great if we got back in the sixties. You, you, your hair would probably be yeah, down here. Yeah, I want well, my hair. I did have long hair. You did? I bought. I, I, I'm just lazy and never get a haircut. I grow oh. my hair all the way to my shoulders oh. and then I cut it. I mean, my hair was long. Were you ever like a? Years. No, you know what? I was so goal oriented. Like I was so. Um, into my career and shit. Oh, okay. Like I couldn't. Um, I think I fried a few brains. Yeah, yeah. I, honest to God, I was so focused on trying to make it and do all the stuff I wanted wow. to do. I never got into it. If I had to choose a time, I think I, I really like the present. There's something about. I kind of already know what's happened in the past, so it's hard for me to get into. I'm a big into. I want to hear what happens next, and I want to do stuff that hasn't ever been done before. That's like, so Buddhist that's of what, you, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm here. I, for I, the, I, the past to me. The past to me, although I chronicle it, and my whole past is public, right. once I chronicle it, I'm done. Okay. I'm out. I can't. Yeah. It's behind me, and I'm, I'm and I have to see what happens next. And I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm always wanting to do something. I never want to repeat my past. You right, know? right, like, right. Honestly, the reason I finished the mini golf course, no one's ever done that. The yeah. I, want, I can't think yeah. of anybody who's ever no, played that I whole mini golf and, and do what you do. Yeah. I mean, hello. You know? And, and it, what's so great, it brings people together. Yeah. You know, it really does. It's I funny because you were like, oh, I've never played mini golf before. And I said, dude, trust I, me. Yeah. It's not about that. You're, you're going to have fun and you're going to do well and you get a hole in one on the last <laughs> one. Right? That's beginner's luck. Yeah. Probably beginner's luck. That was funny. Uh, so the hat, we never talked about your hat. Oh, my hat. This hat's been to almost every country that I've been to. It's been to, been to Greece. It's been to Budapest. It's been to Japan. It's been to... London, it's been Paris, it's been to... I haven't gone to Africa yet, that's a bucket oh. list. I'd like to go there. Africa was cool. Yeah, oh, you been? I did, I went in uh, 09, and, and um, um, did the safaris, did all sorts of stuff. You know what the coolest part about Africa was? was the that? people we stayed with, <laughs> they only had um, water Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Running water. Yeah. And that was their norm. Yeah. And so yeah. they would ration it or whatever. And they and there, this would be the bucket when you took a shower. You poured it yes. into this bucket and then that was your bucket. And it occurred to me that what 
Like, and she went to school and she was trying to get her degree. What she had to do to go to school and get a degree right. was so ridiculous. Like, the amount she had to travel, what she had to put up with her normal day. Right was so much harder than in America, you just get this overwhelming appreciation for yeah. how nice we have it. I mean, you lived in New York. It's harder to get around in New York. Yeah. I lived in New York for like a month one time when I was doing stuff with CBS, and um, yeah, you get kind of annoyed of it's difficult to go grocery shopping because you're carrying it all with you, <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> and here you just throw yes, it in your New York backseat. is inconvenience, it's true. Yeah. But, but, I, but I love it. But I get robbed all the time. They come through the right. fire escape. I guess it was the same kid or somebody was on the roof and he fell through the roof. And all I could see is his leg coming down uh, okay. on, through the roof. And the snow was falling on top of me. It was snowing at the same time. So I was sitting there and I was going like, I am living in fucking New York and there's a lake up there. So and did you snowing. grab it? Did you go? No, the no, no, no. And I heard him groan and I thought, oh, this is so sad. And I, I walked up there and I could see it was a young kid. And he says, "Oh, I'm really like I broke my leg." And I said, "I know you broke your leg." And trying I trying to break into my house. Break into my house. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Don't tell my parents. Blah blah blah. And I said, "I said, well, you gotta go to the hospital." He pulled the "Don't tell my parents" I line know. when he's trying to fucking rob you. No, can you believe that? <laughs> wow. And I said, "Look, I'm not gonna tell your parents, but what you gotta do is you gotta, because I, I do not know how to fix a leg." <laughs> what, you can't do this. Yeah, right. Oh, I can't play it. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. No. You know, I actually had a guy walk. I, I was completely naked. Oh, yes. my God. I just, I used to work overnights. And, um, <laughs> it was like 7 in, in the morning. I just got back from the overnight. I was doing something in my office. And it was actually kind of freaky. We, uh, we were above a law office, right? Oh. My wife and I. Okay. And there was a door out to like a porch. Right. And he saw that door. He climbed up, and oh my god, it was one of you know uh, pre like the dawn is kind of gray and you can't really focus. Right. So I look over, and I think I see something. I'm mean, only like ten feet away, but I just couldn't really make it. And then all of a sudden, like, oh my god, big black dude just oh, chilling in my kitchen. Wow. Oh and I went, <laughs> this is really funny. I was like, hello, like I I did one of those, <laughs> and he just he ran out, and then I pussied out. I lost. I was like, Wow oh my god! And I fucking ran into the bedroom and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, come on, come on. So like at the moment I was perfect. Like I did exactly what you should do, and then I lost it, you know, and my wife had to calm me down. You, like, uh, I have to tell you there there was a time when the whole stereotype thing worked out for me okay. in New York City on Sixth Avenue. I remember I remember a guy like this, um uh coming up to me, it was late at night, I was coming from a club or something like that, and he said, he did this, I've got a gun. Now, look at this. You can, th like, really? that's a fingernail, right? You can right. see that's a fingernail on the thing. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going like, so I do, you know, I do the kung fu thing, I just go, yeah, like that, and he freaks out and he runs away, that's the first time. See? Point. See, so every once in a while, stereotype. Well, until you me. came along. You know, everybody was Bruce Lee until you come along, That's and right. then everybody I, turns into the donger, right. and that wouldn't work today, because of you. <laughs> no, no. They're like, whatever, donger. No, 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 no. <laughs> Every Asian was Bruce Lee for like 20 years. That's right, until I get, oh until, god, I never even thought about that. You ruined it, you ruined it. Oh, poor Bruce, oh god, oh my god. Hats and Mini Golf will be right back after this brief word from our sponsor. Hi, friends. Goldie Wilson III for RentForDeLorean.com. You know, when my grandpa was mayor of Hill Valley, he could only dream of having a DeLorean time machine for one of his events. But now, you can rent the DeLorean for as little as $199.95. And you can even have me, Goldie Wilson III, at any of your events with the Golden Package. Remember, RentForDeLorean.com. I will no, not put this no, on if he doesn't I, want to. No, but he goes. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, he goes. So uh, this whole Asian driver thing. I'll just make a journal. I'll just make a journal of all the well, people that piss me off. To disprove right. He was theory. trying to disprove it. He's like, I'm going to be very honest. I'm going to write it all but down. But it gets me in trouble. Right. So I'm going to write it all down. I'm going to be very honest. Right. And so he did it for like a month. Right. And he chronicled all the drivers that pissed him off. And that that kind of cut me off. And <laughs> wouldn't you know, majority of them were Asian. And he's like, God damn it. I was trying to disprove. I, just, I know. Oh my God. Yeah. What? Oh, 
he's just driving a Jeep. Is he Asian? <laughs> no, Asians don't Ugly! drive Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve that car! <laughs> it's not an Asian driver, I can right. tell you. Because right. Asians don't drive Jeeps. Oh, now, wait a minute. <laughs> why do you think he's not an Asian driver? Oh, Adam. Uh, you tell me. Why do you think that's not Adam, an Asian driver? Adam, that's not true. You're going to get... You're gonna no, get, why is that? You said it. What? You didn't they see him. They don't drive Jeeps? You they didn't see him, and you said that's not an Asian driver. Did I say that? Yeah, you're like, oh, but that's not no, an Asian driver. No, you said that. I, I did not say that. You said that. I did not say that No, you said that because Asians I don't drive Jeeps, and you're right. I would never have said that. <laughs> oh Jesus! I never go down on my people. <laughs> yeah, you probably have. <laughs> oh, the gay setup to end it. That's awesome. <laughs> no, I, actually, you know, Adam, I have. You're a not into Asians. 